In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a histogram for an independent sample t-test. Now, what I'm going to demonstrate is actually quite simple, and many people might be aware of it already, but I'm surprised at how frequently, how infrequently I see data presented this way for an independent sample t-test, and I actually am quite partial to it. So the example I have here is testing the difference between males and females on height. And a lot of people will do a histogram for the entire distribution, and that would look like uh, something like this, create a histogram for all of the cases uh, in the data file. And this is what height looks like when you combine males and females into the same histogram. Now you can do a very slight change into the legacy dialogues histogram and then add gender as a panel by rows gender uh, option and click OK. And SPSS divides the two uh, histograms into two and it puts it in a very easily comparable basis and so you can clean that up pretty quickly with a couple of changes getting rid of the fill on the border and adding maybe a slightly different color and get rid of this gender because I think people know that males and females represent a, represents a gender variable but if you look at this this is actually something that uh, I'd be happy to see in a presentation and I so rarely see the data presented like this, people usually put it into a uh, maybe a box plot or something like that where you compare the two, which is good. Uh, but this to me really uh, is a nice visual depiction of the difference and the overlap between two distributions, which is particularly useful in the context of an independent sample t-test. Now I have seen some people try to do this same effect uh, by splitting the data. So they go into split file and they compare groups and they put gender into the groups based on this will not result in as pretty a way to display the results so then you go into histogram so you get rid of this because they don't know about that little option and they click OK and then you get two separate histograms they're all still on the same uh, x-axis scale but you just uh, can't compare them very nicely whereas with the uh, panels row option uh, this is a quite a nice depiction of the difference between the two distributions. It won't always look uh, this beautiful if you don't have a very large sample size. So this is me showing the same effect with a bit of a smaller sample size. This is the difference between brain volume for, ma uh, for smokers and non-smokers. And if I wanted to show it, uh, I'm just showing this to be realistic with you that it won't always look uh, awesome. Click on OK and this is the distribution I got here. Still not uh, terrible, but and certainly uh, useful and potentially interesting for uh, people that would, might be looking at a presentation. It's not really something you'd put in a manuscript uh, unless it was a key result. Uh, but this is uh, certainly, I think, an attractive way to display results for an independent sample t-test. And you can even expand it beyond that. You could do it for a one-way between groups ANOVA. Uh, and again, you're always on the same common uh, x-axis, and uh, it can go three, four, five different groups. Anyway, just a little short video to show uh, the utility of a histogram that I think is an attractive way to display independent sample t-test results.